Welcome to Prime Royal Monarchy, your ultimate destination for everything related to the British royal family. Here at Prime Royal Monarchy, we dive deep into the rich history, timeless traditions, and modern lives of the British royals. Known for its biting satire, has once more trained its sights on the British royal family in a bold move sure to elicit both amusement and divisive reactions. The show's newest target is Meghan Markle, derisively coined as the Duchess of Dog Biscuits, becoming the latest subject of South Park's signature unforgiving analysis. Unrestrained and unapologetic, the most recent installment of South Park delves deeply into the public facades adopted by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The program is infamous for its lack of respect towards societal norms and its boldness in presenting controversial topics. This instance follows suit as it portrays the duo as insatiable attention seekers yearning for affirmation. Through their work on previous episodes, creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone have established themselves as pioneers in broaching taboo subjects, a trend that persists here with equal vigor. Meghan is depicted as the Duchess of Dog Biscuits in a scathing scene that ridicules her post-royalty rebranding efforts. The show lampoons her entrepreneurial pursuits, insinuating they are just as frivolous and ludicrous as peddling canine treats. This portrayal alludes to the couple's actual endeavors to establish themselves professionally in America, which have been subjected to censure for being mere publicity stunts. As expected, the latest episode has divided its viewers. While some South Park fans admire the show's bold social commentary and appreciate that it publicly highlights hypocrisy like Meghan and Harry's actions contradicting their claim for privacy, others have criticized the portrayal as excessively cruel. Supporters of Markle argue that this is yet another instance where she faces relentless media scrutiny bordering on bullying while critics find fault with how unkindly her character was portrayed in comparison to reality. One Twitter user went so far as to say that though critique can be acceptable, South Park went too far by being intentionally spiteful towards Markle through this episode. The episode not only critiques the Sussex's business ventures, but it also mocks their failed project, the Sussex Riviera Orchard. According to South Park, this brand was a foolish attempt to profit from their royal affiliation while offering nothing substantial. This particular part of the show has stirred up debate amongst critics who question whether it is an accurate critique or an exaggerated joke. In reality, Meghan and Harry had launched the ambitious yet short-lived venture to promote organic and sustainable farming practices. However, due to its inability to gain traction in markets, they dissolved it quickly and quietly. South Park's portrayal highlights discussions surrounding how challenging establishing a new identity outside monarchy can be for them post-royal life choices as well as reigniting debates about what direction they could take after leaving behind such illustrious careers with all its benefits attached at that time when making decisions seemed easy before realizing effects span far out into future repercussions beyond these initial.